What's going on, Internet? 50s Viking here, back again, once again, for another episode of the Threshold Zeta and Pokemon Omicron Solok. And of course, I can't do a Solok here by myself, so I am joined again today by Mr. Corwin. Say hello, Mr. Corwin. Hello. What's going on? So, last time, uh, we did end off on a little bit of a sad note. Um... Because of me not paying enough attention, we did lose a pair. Uh, we ended up losing time, and uh, what was the name of your mod there? Uh, Starlight. So sadly, we have run back, got them boxed, and we're we're pumped, we're full energy, ready to go forward again, and uh, we'll see what we can do going forward from here. So I'm just kind of dodging some of these trainers because I'm kind of getting sick of battling people and losing mods. There are a lot of trainers on this route. Yeah, I know. Oh. Ooh, I just found Route 307. So, who was it that had gotten our last pairing? Because I believe I encountered the Cincino before you encountered the Dugon. So on Route 307, we'd be looking at you, Mr. Corbin, getting the first encounter, see what we can do for a pair. Oh, uh, did you go up further? I did. So I'm also in the rain, which I don't like. So you tried to pursuit trap me there. I ain't going nowhere, Floatzel. All right, so Fossil just reached level 15. Do you want to learn Slam? I do. I really do. So I don't need fake tears. So, Mr. Corwin, you said you had looked into that, and we were looking at our Bonsley's Learning Mimic at what level? Uh, 15. Oh, I just reached level 15 and did not learn Mimic. I learned Slam. Well, this game is also probably not 6th gen. Oh, very true. I really hope that we do learn Mimic. <laughs> gibble, gibble, gibble. Gibbles. Yes, I got the confusion. So I guess I'm going to head back and face some of the trainers that I skipped here, just to kind of get a little bit more experience under my belt. Um, I'm uh, fighting that guy that you just finished there, so we can do a uh, capture if you want. Do a Okay, one. well, you get first encounter, so uh, just, I'll uh, wait for you. Yeah, just give me a second. This Among Us is giving me some troubles. There is long grass here. Ooh, I'd like to run in that. Oh my god, long grass. Well, how's Bonsley doing here? Um, doesn't want to say anything to me, apparently. Okay. So here's hoping that we get a pair that we can use, seeing as we are going to be hopefully replacing uh, our Pansage and Shandalor, which I lost for us in the last episode, because I'm super good at Pokemon. I was way too focused on that Metatite, not focused enough on the fact that the Rufflet was there. I uh, didn't even think Rufflet, you know, learns Wing Attack. So how is your battle going for you there, Mr. Corwin? I've moved to the last Pokemon, and it's a Baneri. And I one-shot it. 
I love Paneri. Nice and Playboy. Okay, so I want to sneak up to that long grass and get an encounter. I stepped into it and got an encounter. It All is right. a Pelipper and it is male. Is that water first or flying first? Uh, I'm not sure actually. Not a mod I usually use. Uh, just a moment, I'm just gonna alt tab out here to take a look. Oh, are you looking? Here and Pelipper is water first, so that is a pair we can't use. But it is still a valid mon. Uh, is yours male or female? Male. Do you see what I have this paired with? That's an Aurorus. That is an Aurorus. And I love me an Aurorus. And it is female as well. So I can't really complain here. Um, definitely not staying with Fossil. Icy wind. What? It's not good. All right. Well, I'm gonna take the chance on the brick break here. I killed it. <laughs> like we needed another water type anyway. So that is another forfeited pair. We are super good at this game. Um. So I. I don't even know. I just I I refuse to give up fuzzy. How's my egg doing here? Let's take a look at my egg summary. Egg watch appears to move occasionally, maybe close to hatching. So I guess let's keep going up and see what we can find. Aw, oh, come at you! Look at how adorable that thing is. Seems to be raining on this route for me. How about you? <gasps> oh god. What is with the ice types? But apparently, this gentleman has the best Pokemon in the entire world. Uh, but catcher Eric would like to battle with his best Pokemon ever. That's a Darmanitan. Nice. I'm gonna use a potion and hopefully that this thing doesn't one-shot me because between Fuzzy and Fossil, this thing is actually super effective pretty much against my whole team. Fire crack, that's fine. Uh, I've got a huge fighting weakness right now. You know what I'd like to see? I'd like them like to see them change a little bit of Pokemon so that um, when a when a fighting or when a fire Pokemon is in the rain, it slowly loses hit points. I think that would be a really cool addition. Yeah. Be really broken. Not really. Because there's other ways that you can counteract it, right? It would just add another level of skill to it. That's just, again, my own personal opinion. I think it would be really neat. But, you know, it would be the same as, like, you see uh, daylight. Or sunlight, or whatever it's called. Uh, like, that would slowly dry out water Pokemon, so they'd take a little bit more damage as well. Fossil grown to level 16, taking out the Darmanitan by himself. Fossil grown to level 17. <laughs> Just cleaning up, is he? 
Apple is currently locked into a battle with a Chimcho. That's interesting. I'm not too stoked about the fact that I'm fighting a Quagsire. Oh, lame. Especially in the rain. Well, I just almost one-shot it, so... I guess I can't be too worried. So, best Pokemon ever are apparently uh, Darmanitan, Quagsire, and... Vol... That I misspelled my Pokemon's name here, Fossil. Um, I will be changing that whenever we go for, or whenever I get to the name raider. Hopefully, I'll be able to change it from there. Oh, this thing's setting up on me. That's, that's a nasty plot. But it really doesn't seem to like these rock throws. Alright, so where have you made it to so far on your trek northbound, Mr. Corwin? Uh, I'm on a leftward part. I think I'm just behind you. Oh, look! Rhyperior! I can't escape! Oh, it used Fury. Oh, well, at least I resisted. Try running again. Okay, got away safely. Definitely seeing some interesting mons so far. Mistrevis. Whirlpool. I accidentally hit slam. I'm just gonna run away from this battle, I think. Can't escape. Fuse ray. And I really like the battle animations they've used for this. They're actually really nice. Yeah, they are good. Come on. I don't want to fight this Mistrevis. There we go. Got away safely. Keep going north. And feel the wrath of my fighting Pokemon. Alright, let's see what fighting Pokemon that this... I'm going to assume Black Belt. Black Belt Tyler! Sinsino is not a fighting Pokemon. It's not a fighting Pokemon at all. But it does now tickle. Yeah, it's kind of depressing that it's raining on this route. And I missed. It's just using Tickle. Yeah, get out of here! Oh my god. Roserade? I'm gonna switch out to Ursaray here. I definitely actually want to get or get this thing under my belt because as a final evolve, it'll give some pretty good experience. Strength, one shot, bop. My boss is growing to level 18, still hasn't learned Mimic yet. Oh my god, I'm... Hey, Surskit! Woo! Level 18 Surskit, actually. I can't risk staying in. I, I can't risk losing Fossil. Like, then we're back down to just our starters. Yeah, and that would be really, really rough. 
especially since we would have to go way back to actually do a grind here, or to do some grinding to get the rest of the team up to snuff. Man, Fuzzy just doesn't take crap from anyone. <laughs> I'm not even gonna bother picking up these orange berries. He's breaking the mold. I'm, I'm really interested to see where North is taking us, because, like, we can't go south in the town we were just in. Engineer Raymond would like to sent out Arcanine. Oh no, Bonsley! Arcanine is fine. Rock type. Correction, he's rock type. I know rock throw, which is an awesome stab move. And uh, we're still in the ring. And it just used Roar, so that doesn't matter anymore. Don't you flinch me. Get out of here. Again, Fuzzy just taking names. Empoleon! I'm gonna stay in with Fuzzy here. I really don't want to switch and take a hit. It's Empoleon in the raid. So glad I know Brick Break. Super effective. Enjoy that part steel type. Get out! So Fuzzy's now level 26. Holy crap. He's got 90 attack. I'm gonna stay in with uh, Fuzzy here. So how are things going over on your end, Mr. Corwin? Not bad, not bad. I don't know what you're eating, because I can hear you chewing away at something. I got some peanuts. Did you not wait to eat till after the episode? No. No. They're delicious. So anyone who has a comment about Mr. Corwin eating during the episode, feel free to leave it down below. <laughs> What? It's kind of rude. <laughs> so? Well, we are here to entertain people. Oh my god, far-fetched! I didn't tell you, uh, the other night when I was doing Wonder Trade, uh, which I did mention a couple episodes ago, uh, I got a far-fetched named Waffles. Um... I, I just lost Bonsley. Alright. Are you kidding me right now? No. Are you fluffy kitting me right now? No, not not in the slightest. What did you do? Uh, he lost to a level 9 Blastoise. Why did you keep him in? I, I have to admit, I was trying to defend my peanuts and not really paying attention. <laughs> more reasons why you should not eat during the episode. That is a machamp! That might and the only Pokemon I can use is Fuzzy. Uh, by the way, just checked my egg summary. Uh, it is close to hatching. Really? So, default pair is better than no pair. So I'll be pretty stoked whenever we actually get them going. Uh, I apologize for the wait here on my screen, everyone. I'm just getting ready to start a new page of pairs. Apparently the door's locked. Can you grab that? And inform whoever is coming over to your house to be quiet when they come down, because we currently are recording. Yeah. I'm sure the person answering the door will do that. Who's answering the door? It's C or M? Uh, M. Okay, she might. Corwin, like, why did you oh have to lose God. Apple Fossil? I, 
I just lost Ying to a mirror coat. Are you kidding me? No, I am not. So as soon as I'm done this battle, um, that's pretty much it for the episode whenever I'm done this battle here, because we've got to look at depositing both of our pairs, rebuilding our teams, and doing a grinding montage before we can start off the next episode. I, I can't even... I, there are no words. Well, there are words for what I want to say. <laughs> wow. My Nuzlocke challenge is over. Yep. Thank you for participating. We will revive your dead Pokemon. However, this challenge is no longer considered a Nuzlocke challenge, and you are considered to have failed. I am sorry. Well, you will no longer be able to access the benefits of the Nuzlocke shop. No! Well, just because we have failed the Nuzlocke challenge there, uh, we're going to look at continuing it on our own terms. Uh, because we do have, we still have teams uh, and pairs that we can use. So, Corwin is gonna. That's a Mew on my screen right now. Um. So yeah, uh, Corwin has failed the Nuzlocke challenge according to Pokemon Omicron. We will continue forward from there. So what we'll do is we're gonna. Uh, Take a break here, do a bit of a grinding montage, kind of figure out what we can do with the pairs we have coming up, and uh, we'll take it from there. So I think that's all we're going to have for this episode here. Uh, again, very sad going forward, Corwin losing two pairs. Yeah, I believe it was the same battle. I have so many things I want to say to you that aren't appropriate for the internet. Yeah, you should probably wait. Anyways... We'll see you next time.